ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰਾਉਣ ਜਾ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਵਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਤੋਂ ਆਇਓ ਸਾਡੇ ਮਹਿਮਾਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ 15 ਨਵੰਬਰ ਨੂੰ ਹੋਣ ਵਾਲੀਆਂ ਚੋਣਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਗੇ ਉਮੀਦਵਾਰ ਵਜੋਂ ਆ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਡਾਰਲੀ ਬੋਇਰ ਅਤੇ ਮਾਈਕ ਬੋਸਾਲ ਆਉਣ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਕਿਹੜੀ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪ੍ਰੇਰਿਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਸਿਵਿਕ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਹੋ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਜੰਪ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਵੀਲ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਡਾਰਲੀ ਲੈਟ ਬਿਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੋਰ ਬੈਕਗ੍ਰਾਉਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਬੀਨ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਵਾਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਮਪਟਡ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਜੰਪ ਇਨਟੂ ਸਿਵਿਕ ਪੋਲਿਟਿਕਸ ਵੈਲ ਆਈਵ ਬੀਨ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਮੈਟਰਸ ਫੋਰ ਸਮ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਆਈਵ ਰਨ ਅ ਬਿਜ਼ਨਸ ਇਨ ਸਰੀ ਫੋਰ ਓਵਰ 35 ਇਅਰਸ uh the community situation and the crime situation in in Surrey uh has prompted me to run and uh we have uh, a good candidate as mayor so i wanted to follow her into mm -hmm. civic politics right we in i live in port kells we in port kells had uh four individuals move into our community and between the four of them there were they had 1100 negative contacts with police oh wow and what they 1100 1100 they were prolific offenders mm -hmm. out in society to right. reoffend and they robbed our community blind mm -hmm. and we actually had to get out at night and patrol our neighborhood in cars in our own vehicles right to uh, uh, and with the assistance of police later on so Uh, crime so is rampant in right. Surrey in we all parts issues. of Surrey. Absolutely. And Mike uh, you belong to a family who has been involved in civic politics. Uh, your yes. grandfather and uh, other uncle also. So right. uh, is it that just because of that uh, background that you are jumping into this or what motivated you to jump in? Uh well no. It is it is a family history. My great grandfather was one of the first to move to Surrey. Mm -hmm. My uncle was uh married just before Doug McCallum. I've always had an interest in in uh politics. Right. It, it it's kind of bred into our family. Mm -hmm. But I've also volunteered on many planning committees at City Hall. Right. And being a farmer, I I saw a disconnect between council and agriculture. Right. So I came up with the concept of uh agricultural advisory committees mm -hmm. to local council so okay. that we could advise them on issues before they made decisions right. that would affect agriculture mm -hmm. and come find common ground so that the urban side of the, uh, of the fence and the rural side of the fence were taken care of right and through that work i've i've been on many different committees at city hall mm -hmm. i've been on ncp ocp committees tourism committees right. so i have a really good understanding and out of that i spent four and a half years with the provincial government on the agricultural land commission okay and i i feel i have a lot to offer right. i have a really good background in civic government now mm -hmm. and with the coming elections uh two sitting councillors running for mayor right. the mayor run um not running again mm -hmm. and one councillor off uh now as an mla right. it, there was room and there needs to be some new fresh voices on council okay and uh, there were other parties also which you could have joined why uh, one first um I really believe in Brenda Rizzotti. Mm -hmm. Um one Surrey is led by her has a really good uh policing plan. Mm -hmm. It's a plan that can be implemented in a year. Right. I feel that she has the voice of the future. Mhm. Mm She's a really good strong candidate. Right. And uh I I support her and mm -hmm. I have for for a while. Right. So when I had the opportunity, I started out as an independent. Right. But when I had the opportunity to join with her, mm -hmm. I felt it was time to do that. Right. I don't think that independents have much of a shot with three slates running. Right. It's too big a machine to run against mm -hmm. and I really want to support her. Great. And Darlene, uh, when you talk about crime issue, that was a motivating factor which prompted you to think about uh, being in this. Uh, there are other challenges also while you're going and meeting the people. What is coming out? What are the people asking for? Well, I am um, in one of my volunteer positions. I'm coordinator of a group called the uh, Surrey Association of Sustainable Communities, mm -hmm. and it has all the community associations sitting down at the table once a month talking about issues. Mm -hmm. And the issues in every community seem to be the same. The number one issue is crime. Right. What that is happening in mm -hmm. their their neighborhoods. Another thing is that infrastructure is not keeping up with the pace of development. Mm -hmm. We are in gridlock mm -hmm. everywhere we go. That's not good for commerce, that's not good for business, mm -hmm. that's not good for anybody trying to do day-to-day -day routine things. Right. 
So we need to do something about the pace of development and keeping up with the infrastructure. Okay. Uh, so there's a number of issues that mm -hmm. uh, the, all the community associations have identified that, right. that uh, as problem areas. Mm -hmm. And Mike, uh, like Darlene has talked about, crime is a major yeah. issue in everybody. It's on, on the lips of everyone. Uh, if you are elected, uh, what do you think? Just uh, putting on more police officers would solve this issue or something more needs to be done? More needs to be done. Mm -hmm. We need to deal with the with the issues that lead to crime, the addiction, the mental health, mm -hmm. um, the youth at risk, the disadvantaged, the people who feel dis disengaged from, from the community. Right. And more police is not necessarily the answer. Mm -hmm. To start with, we can't just go out and hire 95 police officers. Right. They have to be trained. There's a process. 95 police officers is a three or four year plan. Mm -hmm. Another 47 on top of that is, is another two years. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're six years out from getting the full complement of police officers. Right. We need people on the street mm -hmm. and our plan calls for 200 community safety officers that can be trained at the Justice Institute. Right. We already have 100 auxiliary police officers that are trained mm -hmm. that could be put on the street today to make it an uncomfortable position for people that are willing to commit crime to be in mm -hmm. and they won't want to be here. Right. It, it's, it's going back to the, the old adage of the broken window. Mm -hmm. if, if you leave a bro window broken, the next person will come along and go, oh, I can break a window and out without puni punishment. Right. So we're going to fix that window. Right. We're going to put boot, boots on the ground. Mm -hmm. We'll have police officers or community safety officers in the schools right. as liaisons mm -hmm. and allow the RCMP to do, do the big heavy lifting, okay. deal with the serious crimes. Right. So Darlene, when you talk about uh, that uh, as you are focusing upon crime and the Mike is also saying that just putting on boots on the ground would not solve the issue, but there are m other things also which need to be looked on. You talked about the development. The demographics are changing. People are wanting to come to Surrey. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your slate saying about it? How will you address these issues of development also, but at least not that, uh, what you said, un uh, improper uh, development which is happening and uh, everybody would be welcome here? Well, I certainly as a business person do not want to see commerce come to a grinding halt. That's mm -hmm. not what we're about at all. Right. But uh, when you have development going at the pace that it is going now, mm -hmm. you need to do something differently right. um, because what is happening now is not working. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is make sure that all the infrastructure keeps up. And one of the things is policing. Mm -hmm. One of the things is hospitals, right. schools, uh, our road systems. So. We, we this needs to be kept in check right. as we develop you know it has to be in concert mm -hmm. uh, not one step behind right. as it seems to be right now okay right and uh, finally uh, mike as you have the experience you said in civic uh, politics you have been involved quite yeah. a lot uh, towards then why should the people vote for you well i believe i believe in in open and fair government mm -hmm. i believe in development um, I just want to see uh, a, a bit better structure to the development. As Darlene was saying, we need a, a balanced approach where we have the, uh, the commercial and industrial mm -hmm. growing so that we have jobs in the city and we need the infrastructure. We need, we need the community centers, the sports fields, the ice rinks, mm -hmm. the art galleries, so that all those, all those youth at risk that, that feel disengaged, right. we, we put in place activities and uh, associations that can get them involved in positive things mm -hmm. and it, it's about good smart sustainable development and you know maybe control the speed of that development but you bet you everybody is welcome in this city and we'll make space for you right and we'll provide food you for you in our in our productive lands mm -hmm. but we do need to keep up the infrastructure and the programs that will that will keep people on the right path. Wonderful. It was a pleasure talking to you. Best wishes and congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you. So, I have a man, one Sari to Joy, and I have a man, 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 I have a